I have always been a fan of the epic compositional tasks that Matthew sets himself. Um, he pokes at the limits and tries to reach further and to engage with the organization of sound over a long duration. Um, you can change the perception of time itself and it's such an exciting thing to do. Um, you can work with structure, material, form in a completely different way and the piece becomes an adventure. Um, who needs a seven minute piece? We want seven hours. That's the way to go. <laughs> um, but you have to find the right kind of performer for, for this. And in this case, it's the brilliant Kate Ledger who plays this piece beautifully and um, with a lot of determination, but also a lot of sensitivity. And um, yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben Gaunt, a composer and a lecturer at Leeds Conservatoire. Um, and I'm just filming this message, I guess, filming this little video to talk about Matthew's uh, piece for Alan Shoring um, and the remarkable uh, performance by, uh, by Kate. Uh, just an incredible uh, achievement, incredible uh, task to play for that length of time to keep that level of concentration. And I think the, the piece itself is wonderful as well. It's, it's kind of like a an insight into uh, Matthew's brilliant and confusing and bizarre and wonderful mind. So yeah, a really amazing thing. Oh hi, sorry I didn't see you there. My name's Connor Fogel, I'm a musical director and concert pianist, and today I'd like to talk about a piece that I've been listening to and thinking a lot about lately. It's for Alan Turing by Matthew Lee Knowles. Uh, what can I say about this piece? I really love how it walks the line between a sort of minimalist sensibility and a more non-repeating, ever-evolving sort of sound world. It's really quite beautiful. It's very spacious. It's very expressive. Even the sheer length of the piece, it's huge, huge length. Uh, I find the extremity of that very expressive and very necessary to give the message that it needs to give. I also love the harmony of this piece, how it sort of walks the line between tonal and atonal. It's very, it's very beautiful, but it's non-functional and it's very consonant and at times slightly more dissonant, but uses really beautiful tonal language in non-functional ways. Um, I really love this piece, I think it's an important piece, and I think it's important that this piece, written for Alan Turing, a queer icon who must be remembered, a piece to be written in tribute to him by a currently living queer composer, I think it's important that our voices are heard, we are visible, we are valid, we are important, and queer music, remembering queer heroes of the past, is something that must happen. I think it would be wonderful if this piece could be recorded on on CD, on record, for the world to hear. I think it's wonderful music, I think it's exciting, I think it's interesting, and I certainly think it needs to be heard. Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm here to share my thoughts on the piece for Alan Turing, composed by Matthew Lee Knollis, uh, which is very significant. Uh, the music is as if you're sitting down idly and being lost in your thoughts as, as if as if time is running slow and uh, you're drowning in thoughts of love and care for someone else and Kate Ledger's performance really really slowed down time for me uh, in which intensified these these feelings uh, but most importantly I came to know through this music, uh, I came to know a hero who was previously unknown to me. So I hope uh, you all enjoy uh, the, the love and care through Matthew's music for Alan Turing. So much music now is written for and celebrates the lives of other people. And that's such a fantastic thing to do. But do we really do justice to some of the people who we tribute in our music? Can you really do justice 
to some of the great people that have gone before us, both in, in what they've done in their lives, what they've achieved musically, uh, socially, politically, with their ideas, with the ways they've transformed the world, or even if they're just intimate friends of our own. Can we really do justice to them in a song of about three or four minutes that you might stream on uh, Spotify or something, and then it's gone and you just stick it back in your pocket and move on to the next bit of your day? I don't think we can. And that's why something like this project for Alan Turing with Matthew and Kate has been so exceptional. But it's something like that that takes nearly seven hours to perform is more than just a piece of music. And it's more than just a matter of a performer performing something written by a composer. It's a matter of a genuine collaboration of minds, of spirits, of thinking about what music can be and what music can say and what music can communicate about people. Someone like Alan Turing was, of course, an extremely important person in our history in so many ways. And this tribute to him in Matthew's music, played by Kate, it, with a, um, a duration of nearly seven hours, captures something of its life, the life of Alan Turing. But you need to devote yourself to it. You need to spend time with the music. The music takes you into itself, and that's something that is only achieved through this remarkable co collaboration, this remarkable synchronicity of minds, I guess, between Matthew and Kate in this really, really stunning performance. And I can tell you that this piece, uh, this remarkable project, this remarkable tribute to a remarkable person that captures the spirit and life of something that is itself remarkable in what it has done for uh, the, the history, the culture of which we are now all the beneficiaries, has made its impression not just on me, but on my very best friend too. There you go. That's Tim, I'm Ian, and we think it's a great project and we think you should get behind whatever else Matthew and Kate have in store. See you later. I tuned into Kate's live stream of For Alan Turing. I'm really expecting just to sit and listen to a bit of it and um, show my support and enjoy some good music. And it was so mesmerizing. It was an incredible performance of some really wonderful music. And I found myself, I was supposed to be working, um, just staying sucked in to this extraordinary performance. And eventually I had to leave, I had to go and work, but I kept coming back and back and back again to this incredible performance um, of Matthew's extraordinary music. Um, I think of any two people they've clearly shown from that immense performance that, that you know, they can do wonderful things when they work together. And it would just be wonderful to hear this album of, of Matthew's music played by Kate. I've been asked by Matthew Lee Knowles to say something about his music in particular his mammoth six-movement piano piece for Alan Turing, written in 2011 to commemorate the 100th birthday of the mathematician, maybe best known for his efforts to break enemy code in World War II. Though much of Matthew's music is on a smaller scale, for Alan Turing demonstrates his ability to project his musical thought convincingly across a massive canvas. He's also lucky to have found a sympathetic interpreter in Kate Ledger, whose musicality, stamina and vision are amply in evidence during her performance of his piece. Thank you for listening to me. The live stream performance of For Alan Turing was a momentous occasion and the music had a really big impact on myself and the others who watched it. And I really believe that um, Matthew's music and Kate's performance of Matthew's music um, deserve to be heard in high to high fidelity recordings because not very much of Matthew's music exists as a high fidelity recording and um, I want to hear it but I also believe other people should hear it too. Hi my name is Mark Yeats and I'd just like to say a few words 
about a forthcoming crowdfunding campaign for the composer Matthew Lee Knowles and the pianist Kate Ledger. I've been listening to uh, Matthew's piano music over the past few days and I'm struck by the sheer volume of it, the originality of it, the originality of a, a particularly strong musical mind and imagination that works through all the pieces. There's a lot of music covering quite a lot of styles, but the thing they all have in common is the uh, they're all filtered through Matthew's creative mind, and I think that gives them all a very special character. You'll find that you listen to music that you think is familiar, that you think you know where it may be going, and your expectations are thwarted all the time. There are obsessive elements, there are passionate elements, beauty, beautiful melodic uh, moments and inventions. I think the music is full of invention, that's one thing for sure. But none of these recordings are well recorded, as it were. They're, they've been played very, very well, but the quality of the recording is not necessarily very, very good. So for Matthew to have the opportunity to work with Kate to record a range of these pieces, properly under professional conditions will be absolutely fantastic and not just for Matthew and, and for Kate whose playing is, is uh, brilliant but for us as well because it will make a true addition to the piano repertoire and I'm always interested in looking for new piano music, piano music that is idiosyncratic that has the stamp of the individual all over it and I think you can't go wrong with this music it's compelling, it's touching, it's beautiful, it's unusual, it's quirky, it's unexpected. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So when you see the crowdfunding campaign online, please do push the button and donate some money because, as I know from my own experience of doing these online crowdfunding campaigns, they take a lot of work, they're very challenging, but together we can by making small contributions across many people actually make something really worthwhile happen. So it gets my vote and I hope it gets yours too. So please do uh, support this campaign however you can. Thank you. I think that Matthew is an extremely compassionate composer um, whose work deeply reflects the things which he believes in. I think Matthew has a really unique way of seeing the world um, and a beautiful way of seeing the world and I think that uh, in listening to his music and listening to in particular these long form pieces that he, cre he creates um, you're kind of able to get a snapshot of that it's the kind of music which um, through allowing yourself you know allowing the music to wash over you over a long long period of time um, it, it really transports you to, to a different place. Um, and so I was really touched back earlier this year, um, really touched to have the opportunity to watch this live stream performance with Kate um, and, you know, Kate's sensitive performance of the music. Um, I thought that Fort, Fort Alan Turing was an extremely emotional um, and, yeah, a beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, which instilled in me a deep, um, I don't know, it was, it was a time to reflect, I think. Um, yeah, so I cannot recommend anything that Matthew does highly enough. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michael Walters and I'm in the park with the dog getting rained on while I'm making this video. Come on, Hetty. Um, I just wanted to say, um, briefly, what an extraordinary piece for Alan Turing is uh, and what an extraordinary performance it was. Uh, well, um, you know, it's um, a piece like that is really hard for me to listen to normally. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a fan of listening to Morton Feldman. Yeah, as a composer, that's a quite a tough thing to admit, I know, and people will look down on me now, but I don't care. Um, I totally appreciate it, but, you know, it's, it's, I find it very, very difficult, and I can only very rarely do it. So, with this piece, that's different, 
Um, after about half an hour, I thought how incredibly sad uh, it was. And then a few hours later, that sadness has established itself completely and is no longer sad. It's just established as something, as a sound, as the sound world. And then uh, it's actually a very joyful experience. Um, so I want to say, well done for composing, well done for playing. It's extraordinary. So, so I was a huge fan of Matthew and Kate's collaboration on Fort Alan Turing. Um, I just found it a really inspiring and moving experience. It's a wonderful bit of music in terms of um, the concept, but also the notes in it are, are glorious. And Kate's performance was, as always, uh, just really stupendous. But for me as well, um, it was the way that they managed to engage with the medium of, of the live stream in not just a kind of practical way, but a very moving um, way, a very poetic way. Um, it was definitely my favourite uh, kind of live stream experience of the last year. Uh, so I have absolutely no doubt that their collaboration on a recorded album is going to be um, equally, equally brilliant and beautiful. Hi, uh, Kate and Matthew. I haven't prepared anything to say at all, so this is either going to be really helpful or not helpful at all, and maybe you're going to be able to edit um, some bits and pieces together. But I, I really just wanted to kind of speak off the top of my, my head about, um, Kate, your performance of Matthew's um, extraordinary piece and just see if you know, you can, you can take anything for it that's going to be helpful. Okay, so, so here, are, here are a few thoughts. Your performance, Kate, is so absolutely extraordinary. And Matthew, your piece just speaks so quietly, but speaks so loudly about Turing. Not just his, to me, not just his extraordinary and unique contribution to uh, machine learning and, and computing, but also about those parts of his life that uh, and we're still kind of really struggling to understand why, why certain things even came to pass. And I think the reason for me why your piece is just so, uh, so emotive despite the kind of surface language being, uh, unemotive is not the right word, but that the surface language is, is discreet and so open for people to, to, to join it. Um, you see now, look, I've gone off a tangent and I can't, I can't find my way back. So I'm going to try and try and say that again for you. But you can get the gist of where I'm going. Okay, so I'll try that again. So, Kate and Matthew, this is an extraordinary feat, a feat of composing, and uh, Kate, particularly, such a, a feat of performance. I, I really have no idea how how you were able to do it. <laughs> um, but but what I I would like to say is that the reason that I find this piece so emotional. Um, though your language is is not uh, is not trying to to be emotive, and rather is leaving itself so open for us just to enter into it, rather than for you bombarding us with obviously your incredible admiration of of Turing, um, is because the the story of the man seems to me to be in this uh, piece and Kate in your ability to, to render it. And it's a story not just of a man with this extraordinary intellect and um, kind of pioneering approaches to computer learning, but also um, that, that quiet and delicate, but ultimately kind of so uh, ruinous part of his life and the, the part of 
part of his life that we really struggle to come to terms with even now um, and his kind of p pleading guilty to sexual um, acts with a with a young man and for me this piece just sums up e every aspect of Turing's Turing's life um, and I'm reminded just of a, a couple of quotes I actually listening to the piece and watching you perform Kate made me go back and do some some reading about Turing again reading some of his his own words and the the couple of quotes that that really stuck out in my mind um, and seemed to really resonate with with for Alan Turing um, were that he talks about um, you needing to be uh, that that an intellectual person needs to be part of a community in order to progress and yet Kate you're you're kind of there on your own with this momentous task um so it was that the kind of the playing off of of community and and isolation and the way that cheering needed to feel part of a community and also um it was ultimately so isolated um and the other the other quote that comes to mind is when he he's talking about his situation as a homosexual and and saying that he has a long story to tell but that one day he'll tell it as as a short story but that he doesn't have have time to do it now but that he will come out of this as a different man though he doesn't know what kind of man he will be and I didn't listen to the whole of your performance I listened to maybe three and a half four hours but I felt like a different person when I came out at the end of it. And I have absolutely no doubt, Kate, that you also felt different coming out at the end of your, your story and your telling of, of Matthew's story. Um, so I wish you all the best of luck with your crowdfunding. I think this is just an exceptional um, event that you're making together and, and so important that, um, that yet another way is found to express the importance of of Alan Turing as a as a scientist and a, a, a virtuoso intellect and as a man. Okay, thank you. I really love watching the four Alan Turing live stream. Um, I would have helped copy out the music about seven years ago and it was incredible to actually hear it live hear it being played by someone rather than just appearing on my computer screen um, so that was really cool and also um, it really inspired me to make my own um, it really inspired me to make uh, my own kind of endurance long piece which I'm doing uh, with Sean Clancy um, in August this year, um, so we're, we're also going to try and do a long form um, performance using a piece that we wrote uh, a couple of years ago um, as well. I just, it was great to see everyone kind of coming into the chat and talking about their experience of the music. Um, it was amazing to see Kate's uh, playing and endurance over such a long period of time. Um, and just fantastic music from Matthew as well, which I'd already kind of heard in my head. I was copying out the piece um, so it was just really nice to hear it live. An incredible achievement um, I just really admire Matthew as a composer as well. Um, I've known him for years and years like since 2009 and um, I don't know why I said that with a questioning tone. Since 2009 I've known Matthew since 2009 and I really admire his work. It continues to inspire me um, to this day um, Kate's playing is fantastic. I've not known, uh, I don't know Kate personally, um, but I've been aware of her playing and uh, I think it's absolutely wonderful as well. So I'm really excited um, for them to record this album.